Namaste guys, welcome to my channel, it's me, Kerry, this is Laid Out Bear, if you haven't been here before, I'm not your usual tarot reader, I normally show my face but I am, um, I look crap at the minute because I'm doing cleaning, so I decided today not to have my face on because I look tired, um, right, I am an intuitive psychic reader, I make my own angel cards, so if you're guided here to me, your angels would have sent you here. And um, basically, I make my own cards. I do downloads from the divine. Sometimes I get relatives come through. And uh, yeah, and I just do your read. Sorry, they're just having my tea. So I hope you're all alright today. I hope you're having a nice day, wherever you are. Even if the weather's shit. I hope you're feeling okay as well. Um, after the eclipse. I mean, you should be. If you're um, going through your awakening or... Um, you're basically into your spirituality it should be a good time for you for the car mix it won't be a very good time or oh, I've cut my finger um, yeah so what I'll do like I said I don't know your story so just put it where it fits and sometimes it's all for you sometimes it's not it just depends who's watching and what energy I've got um, coming through my angels are here I've been praying all morning. If I burp, it's just energy from my angels, all right? Like I am now. Sometimes, I literally, I was washing up. I had a bit of lunch, and then my angels say to me, go, go on. So here I am. So I'm going to get these. I've had a really good shuffle, these cards. I've had them in a box. And um, I literally shuffled them all, all of them. And uh, I left them overnight as well. And then I shuffled them again in the morning. So, they have had a really good shuffle, all right? Sometimes you'll notice with me, I can't even shuffle the cards. My angels won't let me. I'll just pull them out. They will be reversed because I'm on my tablet. My phone is just doing my head in. Don't get an iPhone. Seriously, there's no storage. So, on the split, I've got let it go. So, you need to lighten the load now. Whatever you're doing, or whoever you're thinking of, sorry, not whatever you're doing. Well, maybe whatever you're doing, so I wouldn't have said that. You need to let it go now. Because I think it's like, probably keeping you a bit um stuck and whatever it was you've done enough with the situation or you've done enough with the job um and you've got nothing to fear guys you've got nothing to fear okay but fear itself and like whatever you're planning on doing or trying or um creating i'm hearing just do it don't be scared all right don't be scared because fear is only what's been installed in you as a child or what people install in you that are around you. So yeah, try and let it go now, guys. Now we've gone through. I mean, we will get the karmic energy because it's their thoughts and feelings. And it's quite strong at the moment because they're in karma. So if you listen to tarot readers and they're like, even myself, and I'm like, oh, they're going to come back. It's what they feel like, okay? It doesn't mean they're going to. If you hold on to people, they won't come back. If you let them go, which that might mean let them go for a reason, then they will come back. If you want them to come back, they will come back. But you have to let people go. Because if you're waiting, the universe won't send you anyone. All right? So I think you've done enough now, guys. Lighten yourself up. Lighten the load. And just let it go now, okay? And uh, like I said, there's nothing to fear. There's nothing to fear, guys, all right? So whatever you're planning on doing, just carry on and do it. So, yeah, look, you've got a lot of strength now, guys. And I know you're living in a lot of hope. We all are. And you've got more confidence now. And if you haven't, try and get yourself some confidence. Try and educate yourself a bit more to be more confident. If you don't like going out, go out a bit more. Just basically build yourself up. That's all you've got to do. So, yeah, we've got strength, hope and confidence. I will still show you the cards, but like I said, they are back to front. I hate it when they're back to front, guys. I do apologise. All right? So just basically build yourself up with strength. All that means you've got more strength. Now, maybe letting go gave you more strength or will give you more strength. And, um, yeah, live in hope a little bit and just hope that everything's going to be all right. Get, get your confidence back or if you've got confidence... That's great, because it is now time to love yourself, guys, all right? If you need to do any inner work on your inner child, start it now, okay? It's time to do your work on your inner child. Whatever's going on, guys, it is exposed, all right? And um, it's out now. And if this person has been outed or you've outed this person or a situation, don't worry, it's out. And if it is a person, they feel terribly exposed and um, they feel like if they're running around naked at the moment, so it says on there, they are exposed and they feel naked. 
So if you're worried about that, they sure do. Right, I'm not going to spit now. I'm going to have a little shuffle and see what comes out, guys. Because I really do want to have a shuffle today. Yeah, suit or suitor. You might have a, a person coming in that's more of a suitor to you. Or maybe this means with a suitor card that they was not your suitor. But now you feel so alive at the moment. Or you're going to feel so alive. And I hope you are, guys. Because no one's there now treating you as invisible. You're not invisible. You know you're not. Angels and ancestors. You got any more cards? Clear head tried to pop out then. So I'm hoping you have got a clear head. Angels are saying you have got... Here we go. That's trying to come out now. Look, time to reflect, guys. So you need to reflect on whatever you want to do. Or whatever you've got hopes in doing. Just reflect on it now, okay? Which, if you do reflect on it, something you're creating is going to come alive, I've just heard. Or maybe you just feel more alive in general. Take it where it fits, guys. Whoa. Yeah, still with them. So you may be still with them, or maybe they feel like you're still with them. But you need to learn to appreciate yourself now, guys. Just appreciate yourself. And even if they do feel like you're still with them, hopefully, it might get them to um, liven up a little bit. Oh, I don't take flippers, guys. I only take cards that come out, okay? This is a past karmic lover, because I just saw it come out. And you've been doing a lot of hard work, and the hard work is paying off. Or it could mean they're doing a lot of hard work, and it's paying off for them. Maybe you're just working hard in general, because you've asked your angels for help and they're helping you so let's have a look embrace peace and happiness guys yeah you need to embrace more peace now hopefully you are being more happy to be alive i just heard because i think with this person you was feeling very trapped and stuck maybe you felt a lot smaller when you was with this person or they made you feel small maybe you didn't appreciate yourself very much but you need to learn to appreciate yourselves now I think you've given yourself some time to reflect. And it's made you a lot stronger. Healing your inner child will make you a lot stronger. And um, maybe you feel like you're still with them. Maybe you don't want to get back to these people, but you just feel like you're still with them in your heart. But whatever they've done, they do feel exposed. But if you feel worried, guys, just ask your angels to help you, all right? And embrace peace and happiness now. Let me see what else we've got. So I hope you're having a good day, guys. And whatever you do today, just do for you, all right? And make yourself happy. And don't give up, okay? Because you've come this far now. And you have. You've come this far. This person only cares about um, lust. And um, I think all they care about is having sex with people whilst they're on drugs. They might even... Um, have been with people and made up a lot of stories about themselves or about you. This is made up a lot of stories. They're a bit of a storyteller. I'm feeling this person might have tried to unalive you at one point or probably just made you feel like you didn't feel very alive. And I feel like you've had to do a lot of hard work with this person or when you finish with this person to stop you feeling trapped because I think this person made you feel quite small. This person took away your strength. I think when you was with this person, you felt like you didn't have much hope. And they took your confidence away because they made you feel quite small. This person could have taken um, a lot of time bringing up your old childhood. If you've had a bad childhood, I feel this person would have brought this up. And um, I don't know why, but I'm getting in my head now that some of you might have been abused as well when you were younger, maybe sexually abused. Yeah, confirmation from my angels. Or the person that I'm talking about, yeah, I've got a lot of confirmation energy coming for at the minute, that they was may maybe sexually abused as a child. Or this person could have sexually abused you whilst you were on drugs. You need to attract like-minded people now, guys. And, um... Like people that know their self-worth and um, like not people that are in a low vibrating energy 
like don't give people um, too much access to you either don't tell people too much stuff about yourself and um, you need to be around people that desire you and like you need to desire yourself as well and know your own self-worth and you do because I think somebody's made up a lot of stories about you or they're uh, making up stories about you or trying to stop um, your peace and happiness or they don't like it when you are peaceful and when you're happy this person seems a bit of a happiness hater yeah your imperfections maybe you have some imperfections that you're worried about well I wouldn't be because they're, they're actually a gift this person might have actually um made out to you that you was quite um not perfect but you might they might have brought up your imperfections but other people see your imperfections as a good thing and they do and this person is getting um, quite bad karma at the moment. And a bit of their karma will be um, seeing you rise. And I think splitting up with this person helped you wake up and maybe nudged you into doing an awakening. And I think um, you found it quite hard during this awakening, but you actually uh, did it quite well. And I think it was quite tough and since you've come out of it you're not actually the same person as you was before because now you feel more alive i think you took your time to wake up but you did it and uh yeah you did actually eat that shit like you uh did with the retrograde i feel yeah, because people find you fascinating. That's what I'm saying. Look, your imperfections are actually a gift and people find them fascinating. And people actually find you fascinating and they do. Maybe you're a small person. You're quite small in height. And you're not the same person as you were before. Because the person you once were is now dead. You're not that person anymore. You're not. I'm feeling some of you might be celibate. You might not be actually having sex. And there's something you uh, don't need to explain. You don't have to um, explain yourself to people. You don't have to explain yourself to this person either. It says no need to explain. No, you don't. You don't need to explain yourself to anybody. Even if you attract a new person, I'm feeling, don't explain yourself too much. Just go with the flow. Just be peaceful. Just be happy. Embrace who you are and embrace your imperfections. Because like I said, they're actually a gift. And this person is going to have to see your uh, you as a gift now and watch you rise because this is part of their karma. But people find you fascinating. I think you're getting a lot of attention at the moment. Maybe you've lost weight, I'm feeling. You might have lost weight. And just learn to appreciate yourself, like I said. And just do things slow, all right, at your own pace. Slowly, slowly wins the race, guys. Because when you take your time with things... They actually last longer. This person on the split is still in third parties. If they tell you that they're not, they're a liar. Because there's about up to one to three people. Or it could be one, two or three people. And uh, this person's still going around using people. And they are still in third parties. Or they like to party, I'm feeling. Or maybe that's when they do their third parties, is when they're partying this person might be going around pretending that they're uh, celibate or this could have happened at work someone could have cheated on you whilst at work yeah they're in a bit of regret now though only because they've been caught out they might have been caught cheating by you or someone in their third party i'm feeling yeah that's just flown out of my hand yeah i think uh Word on the street is you're not as, um, maybe he was a bit too kind to this person and people now feel that you're a bit cold and savage or this person does, this is talk on the streets. So that could mean like Facebook, it's just what I put, talk on the streets. So it could be like Facebook or um, it might be what this person is saying, the storyteller. 
that now you're very cold and that you've been, yeah, I've just heard they're probably a bit like, oh, you was really savage to them or you're really cold now. No, you're not cold. You've just learned to appreciate yourself. And I think people probably find that fascinating about you. Someone watching me, you are quite psychic. And uh, you may be seeing shadows and orbs around you or you're getting feelings from the universe. Now, I think everything's coming together now for you because you've prayed for something and it's actually on its way now to you, whatever you prayed for. This person won't change. They won't. This person will never change. They won't change this person. They won't because this person's a bit of a shit stirrer. So stop feeling sorry for this person because this person is an absolute shit stir. I think this person's still gossiping, going around, um, yeah, gossip. I feel this person, yeah, he's come up, yes, look, yes, this person's still gossiping about you. Yeah, because they haven't changed. This person hasn't changed at all. It says people don't change. No, this person, I feel this person's still coming together with third parties. That's what the third party is. And it says there they'll never change. They won't. Look, you've got they will never change and people don't change and coming together. So I think this person hasn't changed on how they come together with other people. Because all they're looking for with other people is lust. And um, they do a lot of drugs, this person does. And when they're on drugs or drink, I feel they do a lot of shit stirring. And then they make up a lot of stories about you. And they sit there like a storyteller. Because this person attracts like-minded people that haven't got any self-worth. They've got no desire in life whatsoever. And they're low, or they like being like low. Or maybe they're being on the low. They're keeping themselves like on the low, as in hiding. But yeah, this person is definitely, definitely a shit stirrer. Oh yeah, they are. Definitely. You just carry on manifesting, okay? And just looking after yourself and you know all the hard work you've done you know what to do guys you know what to do you know your story yeah because you've gone the right way this person hasn't you've gone the right way and you have it says right there yeah see this person can see you or they might pop up somewhere to see you because they were quite happy with the person they was with until they saw you but this person is a fake twin flame. They're not your real twin flame. They might come back and pretend that they are your um, twin flame. Or maybe you've brought that up with them before being a twin flame. They might use it now and say, oh, you're my twin flame. But you've gone the right way. And this is definitely a past lover or a past karmic relationship. But it is what it is now, guys. And I think this person's starting to realise now that you you were the real deal. And you are the real deal. I've got pass away in my hand. This person might lose someone close to them. Or it might mean that you've had someone pass away. Or they might pass away. Let's hope they don't pass away from a sexually infected like STD. Because this person is quite um, dumb. They are quite dumb, and I don't mean to be horrible here, guys, but this person, uh, they're not healed, this person, they're not. This person, um, I feel this person fakes being religious, or did, or they don't like your religion or your spiritual spirituality, and this card, I love this card, because it says religious... People, they don't want to go to hell, but spiritual people, they've already been to hell. So this person might be going to church because they don't want to go to hell, or they feel like bad things are going to happen to them now because uh, what they've done to you now, they know they're getting bad karma, and it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, they might be seeing shadows. They might be seeing orbs. They might be feeling that they're going to go to hell. They might feel like they're dying. And, uh, yeah, religious people only go to church because they don't want to go to hell. But spiritual people like us, we've already been to hell. And uh, someone might pass away. Yeah, because I think someone's time's running out. Someone's time is running out. But just stay as you are, all right, with a clear head. Because I don't think this person um, has got a very clear head, guys. 
Yeah, because half of this battle is you getting yourself in hold on. We've got a bit of interruption as usual with my adverts. This normally happens when uh, what I've said is true and it just confirms it. But yeah, this person might pass away or they might lose somebody. So all you need to do, yeah, 99% of this battle is getting yourself in the right state of mind, guys, okay? Just push yourself now just to um, start developing and just learn something new. Maybe you might be learning something new. You might be learning a new language or you might be learning about moving to a different area or speaking a different language in a different place. Or you just want to push yourself to learn and develop something new for you. Yeah, if you're like struggling, just get out your own way, guys, okay? Just get out your own way. And if someone does come back trying to bother you, just tend to go and disappoint someone else. I feel like this person is a bit of a disappointment to you now. Yeah, you need to love yourself now, guys, you do. Do it like your life depends on it, because it actually does. Maybe their life depends on trying to love themselves I'm getting because then maybe that's why they might pass away because they don't love themselves very much and they haven't got a very um, clear head at the minute and they're not getting out of their own way take it as it fits guys <laughs> oh don't someone thinks that you're sad maybe they're hoping that you're sad not as in sad as in you're sad oh confirmation someone thinks you're sad like maybe you're waiting for them i think this person's a little bit confused i think this person's hoping that you're sad about not being them but i think they're actually wrong i think it's um guilt that's making this person live in this delusion that if you're sad their opinion could be that they think you're sad because then it helps them to feel better about not being with you or maybe you not wanting to be with them but um or you may be or are you you might be sad about not being with them maybe maybe not you could be maybe they're just hoping that you're feeling sad take it as it fits guys but this person thinks someone thinks that you're sad without them but um I think it's because you've made this person look at themselves and uh, they probably don't like it and they're probably hoping that you miss them. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling on that. That they're hoping that you miss them so they can go around probably telling stories. Yeah, this person left you quite unwell. Yeah, this person feels humiliated at the moment. I think this person left you quite unwell and it might be coming out. Maybe you've told the truth about this to someone or people or you've put it up somewhere about you feeling quite unwell or people know now. Someone knows that you were left quite unwell. So this person makes out that you're sad without them because I think this person feels quite humiliated. I don't know why they feel humiliated because I think this person um, left you in quite a struggle or left you struggling for money or struggling just in life in general. But your days are struggling now over, guys. I think there's a lot more nicer things coming to you. I think maybe this person left you feeling quite confused. And uh, I think they've done this to you a few times. I think you've split up with this person a few times. But just remember it worked out before, okay, guys? Just remember you know how to fix yourself. I think you've been going through this about between four to five years, or it might be four to five months, guys. Put it where it fits. But this person is, uh, they should have treated you how they wanted to be treated. I think this person doesn't treat people how they want to be treated. I think you treat people how you want to be treated. I think you make it right with people, and this person makes it quite wrong. Yeah, I think because you're an empath, you felt this around this person. That they don't like their own medicine, I'm hearing. Yeah, and they don't want to listen to anything you've got to say or what anyone else has got to say. And I think they treated you quite invisible. Yeah, I think they treated you like they didn't really uh, like see you or see your worth. Yeah, I don't think they talked about their feelings much or let you talk about your feelings much. 
I think you might have let it out to this person and told them how you felt. Or maybe you let this out to your angels and you just followed what your angels guided you to do. And you just followed your spirits with their messages. And I think you had to learn to be your own hero after you finished with this person. And I don't think they left you with much money or they might have taken some money off of you but i think this is making you more resilient these days and that's probably over money is why you ended this connection with this person maybe this person blocked money off from you so you couldn't get money or they have blocked you being able to get money yeah, I think you're a bit more educated to this now. Maybe you're not that worried about the money and you think, well, it is what it is. And you don't have to explain yourself to this person. I think you like walking or maybe you should go and walk and clear your head. Or maybe that's what you did when you split up this person. You walked a lot. And yeah, this person thinks that you're quite lucky, but I feel that you're, um, you're more blessed than lucky. Yeah, what ifs. There's a lot of what ifs here. What if this happens? Yeah, this person was quite disgusting to you. I think there was a lot of what ifs with you with this person. Like, what if it could work? What if they like did this? What if they got better? Maybe this person might be thinking what ifs. So we've got disgusting person come up. I think this person acted disgusting towards you. I think this person wanted you to give up. And I think you knew this. I think you knew this near the end. Maybe you were sitting there thinking, what ifs with this person? Why are they treating you like you was invisible? Why are they stopping you from having money? Like, why are they messing around with your relationship? Why do they like making you sad? Why do they need you to explain yourself? But I think you ended up um, not giving up. And if you feel like giving up, don't give up, guys. Don't give up now. Do not give up now. Because this person is just a snake. And they're hanging around with people that are just like reptiles. And better days are coming for you. They are. Better days are coming. Definitely. So, oh, that one wanted to come out. Yeah, so you need to give yourself the same respect as what you give other people. I feel like you have got quite a lot of respect for other people. Maybe you had a lot of respect for this person. And, uh, yeah, you need to... Uh, Try and get people that give you the same respect as what you give to them. So I think you do give people a lot of respect. And I think you've got more respect for yourself. And stop putting yourself down as well. Maybe you do put yourself down a lot all the time. Because this is how this person made you feel. Or maybe this person um, made you feel like... like they. Sorry, they put you down a lot because they felt like shit themselves. Yeah, remember you need to be around people that make you smile, darling, okay? Because I think you go around making a lot of people smile, but you need to be around people that make you smile. Maybe you've gone on antidepressants since you split up with this person, or you're on some kind of medication, or this person could be a bit of a pill popper, or they could be a pill head. Yeah, this person feels like a king, mate. No, they do. Yeah, they're like a child, though, really. They're not a king at all. They're like a child. They act like a child. They might be wanting to return this childlike person. Or you could have a child returning. But I feel this person who thinks he's a king is actually a page. And he's a bit of a pill popper, this person that thinks they're a king. I think they get um like a bit bit over themselves or a bit big-headed around you. Because you make them feel like a king. But really, they're just a child. Maybe they feel like a child now because they're not with you. Maybe this person felt like a king putting you down. And I don't mean that horrible, because so I think this person is not a very nice person. I can feel the energy. So this person's really battling their demons, and they are. But this king who acts like a child is actually uh, been celebrating, but they didn't realise they, they were actually celebrating their own downfall because they're idiots. This person and who they're hanging around with. Yeah, they don't inspire other people to grow, this person. They don't. I don't think this person inspired you to grow either. Maybe this person celebrated too much and uh, hangs around with idiots who are battling their own demons and they act like children. Maybe they took a child off you that a child is returning. Or maybe this could be an older child that we're talking about. 
My head's gone really light-headed, guys. This person's definitely a pill popper. They might be into drum and bass or they listen to um, drum and bass quite a lot. Yeah, I feel you inspire people or they they don't inspire other people to grow. Yeah, this person might want to get back with you, I'm feeling. April the 4th might be a date or April as a fourth month. Or you might live at number four or you might be one of four or you might have four children. Or you might have been back with this person four times. Take it. Like, has it fits, guys? Um, but April could mean a date for you. Someone's missing home. I think they're missing the fact that your home is homely. And this person knows that you're feeling good about yourself. And they know you're doing well. So be careful, okay? Because they might do, but just be missing home because they know you're doing better than them. And they know that you're quite blessed at the moment. Yeah, I think this person only sees, like, body, like, butts and tits and... I don't think, I think this person probably doesn't realise that people have a face. I think they're just a bit of, um, like, I, I can see this person just looking at people from behind. If they're driving in their car, they just look at someone from behind. Like, oh, you've got a face, yeah? <laughs> I've just noticed you've got a face. Like, they're just into, yeah, this person um, doesn't really care how people, like, feel. How people feel doesn't matter to this person. It's all about lust and looks and if someone's got a great arse or or they just see the back of people and like, yeah, I think that's all they see is like body parts. Now, I don't think this guy, this I said guy again, I think I'm reading for a woman. This guy doesn't really care how you matter or how anyone else matters, to be honest. But don't worry, guys, you've got this, all right? And what you know, you know. I think you know this person's a bit of um, a womaniser. Maybe this person likes you because you've got a big juicy butt. Maybe they might have a big butt. But I feel this person just looks at body parts. They might have a hairy chest. You might like hairy chest. This person is a ball of contradiction. I think you think this person's one way, but they're actually another. I think this person doesn't even know who they are. I think um, there's such a ball of contradiction, it's really hard to work out who this person was. You found them very challenging. I think this person's very negative. Yeah, I think they challenged you with um, negative thoughts, if you had positive thoughts. I find this person um, stopped you feeling energised and... Um, I think you're quite an amazing person and this person didn't like it. I think they're quite jealous. Or maybe you might be feeling energised and amazing at the moment. This person might have been like a serial cheat or like likes to kill people's spirits. And I don't think this person likes people feeling very energised. Maybe they suck the life out of you. I feel this person goes around embracing people and then leaves them literally for dead like a serial killer. Yeah, with this person, you um you wasn't seeing yourself for what you was worth with this person. But they saw your worth, don't worry about that. They saw your worth. I think they wanted to hurt you on pur purpose because you showed them what they should have been. And I think they got annoyed because of you seeing yourself for what you was worth. You might be a Taurus or um a Capricorn. Or a Virgo, or just an Earth sign, or this person could be an Earth sign. November and December could be um, a Pacific date. Maybe this person, you know, like this date will resonate with you. Don't be scared at the moment, guys, all right? Because you've got a beautiful future coming, and you have, you have. Don't give up. Like I said, this is only their energy. It's what they're feeling and thinking. Don't take it to heart, yeah? Because this person just uses people for sex to control um, people. I feel this person used, used you for sex to control you. And I think this person felt quite energised from your sexual energy. This person could have a hairy chest. This person could um, even have a birthday in November or December. Or you could. December, I just said, instead of December. Maybe their birthday's on the 7th of December or on the 7th of whatever date. Or they may be an earth sign or you are. 
you're lucky to get away from this person. Because this person's got nothing but a life of struggle, guys. Their, their life is literally just going to be a struggle. And any magic they put towards you, it's just all backfiring. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking that they're thinking, oh, crap. And whatever this person's doing in life, because they're using people for sex, and um, they don't see their own self-worth, and um, they're very negative. They're a very unhealthy person at the minute. You might have long black hair, or this person might have long black hair. You might have met them on holiday, or you're having a break from this person. It might feel more like a holiday without them, to be honest. But I think you're doing a lot of self-care at the moment, like, um, with yourself. Yeah, I think you didn't realise how strong you were until you split up with this person. Or, you're, yeah, or you didn't know how strong you were until you had no other choice. I think this person made you go into self-care mode and look after yourself. You might be the earth sign. This person might have made you very unhealthy, might have made you feel unhealthy. Maybe they did um, black magic towards you and um, they might be into witchcraft. It might have made you feel unhealthy. Maybe it made you feel like you were struggling with life. But this person is struggling now with life, definitely. They're not taking self care I think this person needs to have a bath. I feel this person... Um, this, I don't know, this person doesn't stay still. I think they're always in and out of your life. I don't think they stay for long. They're always on the road, like always out and about, I feel. This person's always out and about. They never stay still. They're in and out, up and down. They just, I think they're just going around having sex with everybody. And that's probably what's making them very unhealthy. Because this person does not stay still. They don't stay in a lot, I don't think. Or they, they might not stay out a lot and then they go in. But I feel like this person's on the road a lot. Maybe they drive around a lot. Or this person might drive to a lot of people's places. And, um, yeah, because they choose money and choose sex over you. Or they did. I think you gave up this person and went quite religious or... Maybe you gave up on them because they were like an addiction to you or they put you in addictions. Maybe you had quite bad habits when you was with this person. I feel that you might have um, give up on this person eventually and just turned yourself to God and Jesus. And I think that's made you feel a lot more nicer now. Maybe you feel more alive and energised. You could have a new lover on the way, guys. You could definitely have a new lover on the way because God might be sending you a new person because um, this person broke your heart. Don't cut off yourself to love, all right, guys? Don't. Don't don't cut yourself off to love because you might have someone new already. Yeah, I think you was on your own defending yourself with this person. I think you had to defend yourself on your own and then you gave it to God. And I think God made you realise that... Um, you are worthy of being loved and you are, no matter how low you felt. I think you uh, you needed to realise that you was worthy. And I think everything now is happening for you. It's for your greatest good now, guys. All right? This person just chooses sex and money. They don't see the harm that they do to people, this person, or the harm that they did to you. I think they like to put you in a bit of state of fear, this person. I think they... Uh, they get off on it quite a lot, making you feel like this. Yeah, you did. You have defeated um, an enemy. This person was actually an enemy. And I think this person might have even been a neighbour. Or um, might your ex might actually be your neighbour or been your neighbour. Pardon me, confirmation. You might have moved away from where they was living or you might have moved away from where they was living. You might have had to cut ties and move away. Um, and you had to, well, you might have had to defend yourself in court, I'm getting on this card as well. You might have had to defend yourself in court, or you might have to, or you've got court case coming up to do with a neighbour, someone you cut ties with, who actually, you, you will defeat this person, by the way, or you have defeated this person. If you're going to court, you are going to defeat this person, and you will be moving away, or moving forward away from this enemy. Maybe the court is going to help you cut ties with this, um, I just heard defendant. 
or maybe this defendant has been to court already with you or you've gone to court with them. It might even be a neighbour dispute. Just do things you enjoy now, guys, all right? And just, like, really enjoy yourself, what you're doing. Still watch your surroundings, though, guys. I feel like someone might still be around you watching. Maybe if they're a neighbour, they can see. You might have had to get a restraining order on this person, or you might have had to. Maybe this person made you feel like getting a restraining order, or they've made you feel like going to court to get a restraining order because you had to watch your surroundings. Maybe you didn't feel safe in um, your surroundings and you was very aware all the time, watching out all the time. But just stay safe, guys, okay? Just watch your surroundings. Or this could be past, present or future. Yeah, this person um, blocks their emotions. And you, you elevate this person. So what they do is they take you elevating them and then they block you. Or they block your emotions. This person, I feel like, um, I think this person's awakened you more to the fact that they did block your emotions. Maybe you didn't, just felt like you didn't have any emotions around this person. Or maybe they got you in your emotions. But I think this person feels quite elevated, as in they feel quite proud of themselves that they block your emotions. Or they like the fact that they don't show you any emotions yeah, I think this person's awakened you to this. Or maybe you're going to become awake to this because their mask has come off now. And they're very exposed, this person. I think they're suffering from an illness, you know. Something's been seen about this person. And someone is making a decision about this person now. It might be you or the court. Maybe you're finding a lot more willpower to take this person to court. Maybe you're finding more willpower now to expose this person. Because maybe the mask has, has come off that they made you quite ill. And I think now people are seeing that. Yeah, because you're a bit of a little rare sunshine. Now, maybe the days are better and they feel more sunny now about this person in them. Maybe this person could be called Ray. Little rare sunshine. You could be called Ray or Rain. Yeah, I think you're walking in God's favour now. This person's mask has definitely come off, guys. You have got good news coming in. Maybe this is due with court or you've got good news coming in involving a contract. Yeah, you might, someone you meet new, you might meet on um, social media, or you might meet through a friend, or someone has got a crush on you. I don't think this is your ex, this is a new person. Someone's got a secret crush on you. I think someone might be watching you on social media. It's definitely a friend. It might even be an ex, it might be. But it might be a nice ex, someone that makes you feel very sunny. I don't feel this is the karmic, because they're masks off. I don't think this is them. There are people advocating for you. There are. I think it's because you've dove a lot deeper into yourself now. And uh, you're not run by this devil anymore. You're run more by God than the devil. You might even be a deep sea diver. You might be. Um, you might just like to dive doing swimming. Or this person might. But I feel you've had to dive a lot deeper into yourself. I feel you might be buying yourself like new clothes. Or maybe you're buying yourself a new dress or a new shirt. Or you might have just bought a new sofa I just had. Any more for collective? I'm going to finish up soon, guys. Because I always know when I've got to finish, I can just feel it. Yeah, whoa. Yeah, don't worry, guys. I'm going to finish on this. Because they are blocked now. And they are. They are blocked because you made a decision that was very difficult for you, but you've blocked them. Or they're going to be blocked. They are blocked. They are. And your happiness helps other people feel better. And it does. Maybe you've made a decision to do something that makes other people feel better. Because now they're blocked. Maybe you can do stuff now because you're not run by the, the devil. Yeah, this person's got more children than you know about. Yeah, they don't like you now. They don't like you now. Yeah, because you've exposed this person. That's why. And they don't like... Oh, the reason they don't like you is because you show up for people. You don't just uh, people please like this person's a people pleaser. You're quite a sweet little soul. soul. You are. You are a sweet little soul. Don't focus now on what you don't have, guys. Just focus on what you do have, all right? And focus on moving forward, all right? There's nothing to be scared of, guys. And there's not, okay? 
I think you're getting out more or you're just doing a lot more grounding. You're just becoming more aware of like the universe and the earth that you live in. And I think maybe some of you might even be doing gardening. You might be planting things or maybe you're blooming now and you feel like all the seeds that you've planted are now actually finally growing. Yeah, this person just wants to trap you for money. They're just a trickster, okay? Don't worry about these people because they're your biggest fan at the moment. Yeah, I think some of you are growing something in your garden. Yeah, <laughs> I just said you might be growing weed. You might be growing weed. You might have gone organic, though. You might have gone organic with your food. No, don't worry. It's like a fucking desert over there. There's nothing going on with these haters. There's not. Facts, mate. I think they've trapped themselves now for money because you've grounded yourself and you've got a bit more closer to the earth and whatever you've started creating is now blossoming I feel and the sun is definitely coming out for you yeah someone's missing home because they miss your cooking yeah this person I think this person just likes people looking after them like a mummy I'm getting because you might have cooked for this person and uh that's probably why they're missing home because you're probably a bit more homely than where they are yeah, don't do it. Don't get back with this person because I think they just like you to look after them and grow their garden and grow them and make them feel better. But they're just a hater, this person. They just trick you. This person's just a trickster. Just get close to yourself, guys, all right? No, if you've got animals, your animals love you. Put all your um, love into your animals, okay? And any challenges come up, just see them as new um, opportunities, guys, all right? Because this person's got a secret family. They have. They've got a secret family. And whatever chaos is going on, there's chaos going on in this secret family. There might be chaos going on because someone around them has found out they've got a secret family. Maybe the other family of the family they're with, I'm getting. But listen, you're calm and safe around all this chaos. I don't think you even know what chaos is going on with this secret family. Now, just know your animals love you guys, all right? Because this person might be trapped by their secret family now for money whilst you're being calm because they caused all this chaos. Yeah, you just keep praying, guys, all right? Because decisions can be difficult, but I think you've made the right decision now. Yeah, look, your pets have come up again. No, your pets appreciate you. Maybe just go and play with your pets, okay? Just give your pets attention, okay? Yeah, don't worry, guys. Just carry on as you are, all right? And don't do it. Don't get back to this person because this person's very, very childish. All they want to do is provoke you. They love arguing. They'll just want to come back and dominate you, this person. That might be why they're trolling you. Yeah, you're very strong, okay? Just keep with your standards, all right? Because you're more fun these days, okay? We've got rules in this place where I am for you. Show kindness, guys, all right? Dance and twirl. Wish upon a star. But always fix your tiara, ladies, all right? And believe in fairy tales because they do happen, okay? Nothing happens as a coincidence. Just use your imagination, guys, and I'm going to leave it on. Just laugh, just giggle, and just be silly for a bit, okay? And enjoy your day, guys, all right? I love you so much. If you don't mind hitting that like button, and if you want to subscribe, guys, subscribe. It is free. I know some people say, oh, yeah, everyone knows that it's free, but not a lot of people do know it's free, and it is free. And I'm different every time. I do normally show my face. But like I said, just believe in miracles, guys. Use your imagination, okay? And laugh and giggle and just be silly, okay? And I love you, love you, love you. You're doing really well, guys, okay? Keep going, all right? May God be with you. In Jesus' name, amen.